Hey guys, before we get started, I get like a lot of comments saying, Hey, react to this group. And I'm like, bro, we already reacted to this group. Or, hey, react to this group. Hey, we're playing on it. So, if you want to see what groups we're reacting to in the future, there's a Google Docs link right in the description. And there's going to be like a list of songs or groups that we're going to be reacting to in the future. And be sure to look through my channel before you start requesting because there's a possible chance that we already reacted to it. So if you didn't see any groups that you want us to see in the Google Docs link, and if you didn't see any groups that you want us to react to in this channel, like if you look through our videos, then you can start requesting. So yeah, let's go down to the show, guys. What is up guys, today we're going to be looking at G-Dragon. Um, the last time I heard of G-Dragon was when he did a little collab with IU. And that was a very fun video. I basically fell in love with that beautiful woman. Anyway, without any further ado, we're going to watch Untitled and Crooked. So, let's get right into it. G-Dragon. Untitled. 2014. Here we go. Okay. Already starting off with a very... Very full sound from that piano and his voice. Nice. I love the colors. I love how they're changing. Oh, those colors are beautiful. I love the way he whispered. That reminds me of Jung Hyun. Nice. The way the colors were changing kind of reminded me of J-Hope's music video. It's pretty cool. Oh, this reminds me of another song. Wow. This is beautiful. There is an American pop song that has a very similar chorus to this, but I can't think of what it is. But this is very pretty. What is he wearing? And why is he wearing that? I closed my eyes for a second because I just kind of wanted to take in all the music just like that. But then I remembered, no, you have to talk about the music we did too. <laughs> Rib. It's okay, it's beautiful to look at. I like the really whispery voice that he does, though. That's really pretty. Wow. His voice changed. It has a lot more power right here. I like it so much. This is so nice. Oh, I heard some rasp there. I like that. Character. Good character. He has a really interesting voice. It's really... I mean, I hate to use this word to describe it, but it's kind of whiny. But not in like an annoying way. He really makes it work. You know? Nice head tone right there. Awesome execution. Ooh, again. That was the last whoos. Sounded a tad bit flat, but in a nice way. The background in this video is so cool and like trippy. I think it was on purpose. Maybe it wasn't flat, maybe it intended to be that note. I liked it. I kind of just went with the vibe. I love the harmonies going on right now. Definitely very nice. It's as if they're wrapping my ears a little more than the main vocals, and I, uh, I just love when that happens. I 
and I know this is not at all what's happening in the video, but it would be fun to dream that he was just very drunk and he was like really not able to stay upright, you know? <laughs> it's like, dang it, that Jack Daniels man. Oh. He's just like, mm, is there a piano here? You know, I mean, <laughs> it's a beautiful video. I almost don't want to say that. But <laughs> now you're going to go watch the video. You're not going to see it the same if you think about it like that. I promise. That was really pretty. All right, let me pause that. So I don't... That was a really great ballad. Oh, now it's all bright at the end. As if he is coming out of a dark tunnel into the light, into something better. I like that. I think that's what that was symbolic of, but I'm not sure. That was really great though. Super, super, super dope ballad. I actually haven't heard somebody pull off just a piano and vocal that well in a very long time, so. Super nice, awesome. Way to go, G-Dragon. You have my approval. Man, that was definitely just heartwarming, man. It was beautiful. And I loved the way his voice changed when he added more energy. It had this, his voice changed, it was like a shape. I don't know, man, it, it, it just, that's the only way I can describe it. If a sound had a description or if the change of sound had a description that was physical, that would be it. It changed shape and it was really pretty. I really loved where it went. Anyway, let's get right back into the reactions. Let's look at Crooked. Okay. There's some little waves going on with... His hair is a different color every time I see him. Very, very retro vibes. Okay, not anymore. Definitely not retro at all anymore. Was it CM Blue? This scenery reminds me of CM Blue a little bit. This is way more pop than the last thing I heard from him was. I really don't remember the last G Dragon song I listened to, like him as a solo artist, but it was like, I remember it sounding really hip hop ish. And this is like straight pop. I mean, that's like a rap verse, but like, it's still really pop. This is so different, man. Definitely not anything like Untitled. This one's just pure energy. Your energy. It has a lot of attitude going on. Is he trying to steal? Oh, oh, oh. post up, man. That was cool. Triplets, but it was a glitch. <laughs> I want that suit. Ah, oh, it's really cool. It's a part of a car. <laughs> this is not like typical pop songs that I hear. This one's using distorted guitar. And it's a lot of sustain. Very simple guitar. I like the scent a lot. Dang, looking good, my man. <laughs> it looks good with all of them. But I just really liked that leather. Catching at my soul. 
Was he going as in trying to spit or was he saying something that I don't understand with just breath and a lot of attitude? This is just my personal opinion. I don't expect many people to agree with me. But I think his vocal here oh, he's pissing on the door. His vocal here is too aggressive for the pop beat and the vibe of the rest of the song. It just it doesn't fit for me. But I mean the song's got a good beat and his vocals in the chorus are great, you know. Yeah, this is definitely using a lot of guitars instead of typical pop stuff. That's cool. Got a little chant part in there. That must be fun live. This is something you can tell you is reaching out to the party audience, to the hype beasts, to the people that wanted to feel energy and feel good. I must say, I've never heard any voice that's similar to this guy's, you know? It's really, really unique. This is yet another example of him, you know, like, having really whiny kind of vocals, and yet making it work to his advantage, you know? Because this is a catchy chorus, and it suits his voice. I feel like his voice would go on well the gorillas. Not to replace the gorilla's singer, but I feel like it would just be a nice addition. Oh no. Oh man. It looks like he was having a breakdown toward the end of that video. That makes me really sad. Damn. Is that like him losing his, <clears throat> his mental stability like through a life of partying or something? That was interesting. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of that verse, you know, but the, I mean, overall, I like the song. Like, I would listen to it again. It's catchy. It's, you know, it's a good pop song. And the first song was really beautiful, I thought. I would, I'll definitely listen to that again. And I loved the video. The video was really great. So, yeah, I love, and G-Dragon's awesome. You know, I love G-Dragon. Uh, super cool. Oh, and it looks like we're reacting to Big Bang next, too, so I get to see more. See, maybe he partied in that video. <laughs> And they really see entitled one because he, he like he was partying there. He obviously drank too much, passed out, and then he got back up. He was like, making that anyway. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I I think I like and no, I, I I like entitled more, just because, and it's more of my kind of like vibe, and, and, or not that it's more my vibe than the other one. It's just the other one's a little bit less my vibe. Like I, I typically don't listen to stuff that has that kind of feeling or sound to it. Not that it was bad, it's just not what I like to typically listen to. Anyway, Untitled though, that was very emotional, very pretty. It was so soothing and it had that warming effect of the vocals just wrapping around my ears, you know, making me tranqui, muy calmado. That means very relaxed, very relaxed. It's basically repeating the same thing, but using different words. Spanish is weird, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that was really nice. Definitely really loved what he has to offer, and his voice is just so different, man. And you can really hear the different sounding aspect of it, or part of it in Crooked <laughs> and Entitled. It, I mean, yeah, it sounds... Just as unique, but like it, I don't know, it just sounds weirder and not in a bad way, it sounds weirder and crooked. And I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah, I definitely enjoyed reacting to these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. And yeah, I, I this guy is pretty cool, yeah, I really like what he has to do in Big Bang and also in G Dragon, obviously, well, as G Dragon, not in G Dragon. I mean. I'm tired and sick. Anyway. Well, I heard reverb. I don't even have reverb on. Anyway, have a great day, week, month, year, decade, and century.
this out. Thanks for watching guys. If you're new to this channel, we upload Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you guys want to see more of our videos in the future time, hit the subscribe button over here. And if you like this video, just hit the like button over here too. Yeah, and if you want to see more of our videos in the past from season one to season two, hit the playlist button right below me. Alright guys, thank you and peace.